Good day, brothers and sisters in Christ, and let's dive into the Word. Looking at today's Gospel, it reminds me of my first encounter with the Lord. My first God love experience. And I'm sure each one of you have that. That, that encounter of God's love, and that you want to do so much for Him. But looking back a while after that mountain thought experience, I started thinking of the lack that I had in myself. That the Lord, I want to do your will, but I'm not equipped enough. That I'm not a good preacher. I'm not a good prophet. I'm not a good anything, Lord. How do you want to use me? So maybe I should prepare myself, equip myself, do much more. And that's what I did. I started searching, I started going to finding resources, learning the Catholic faith. But after a while, many years after, I started realizing that I was not doing God's work. I always hid behind, Lord, I'm not ready. Lord, let me equip myself more. I was comparing myself to people who were great. Bible scholars. And maybe I should become like them then. Lord, I, rec- I will do your will. But let's look at what the gospel says today. And this what struck me was this. And he said to them, and that's Jesus, Take nothing for the journey, neither walking stick, nor sack, nor money, nor food, and let no one take a second to him. In the gospel, when Jesus sent out his apostles, the 12 of them. What Jesus is saying to them, hey, don't take your essentials, especially during this COVID season. You know, we all are desiring essentials. And Jesus said in the gospel, hey, don't take essentials. Don't worry about food. Don't worry about your, your stuff. Don't worry about money. And just go. What he was asking them to do was trust in him. Trust that the Lord will guide us all we have to do is say yes and he will give us he will equip us he will show us everything that we need and that's my experience when i went i went i came a missionary for for two years in new zealand was that i said yes lord use me to do your will and i saw that the word that came to me was really from isaiah and when Prophet Isaiah said this to the Lord, when the Lord said, Whom shall I send? And Prophet Isaiah said, Here I am, Lord. Send me. And I invite you, brothers and sisters, to do the same. To allow the Lord to use you where you are. Trust me, He will do amazing things. All He needs is your yes. And your full trust in Him that He will do what he needs to do. He will equip you, he will guide you, he will lead you, and he will open and show you great and marvelous things that he has planned for you. But you just say yes. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you and praise you for calling us to be your hands and feet, Lord. We thank you and praise you, Lord Jesus, that you are Lord of Lords, and you are guiding us, and you have great and wonderful plans for us, plan to prosper us, And to lead us to great and wonderful pastures, Lord. So Lord, I pray, Lord Jesus, that we will be able to trust you more and more each day. To be able to be your instrument, your hands and feet. And to just say our yes and know that you got our back, Lord. And you will lead us. You will guide us. You will equip us. And you will be our provider in every circumstances, Lord. Amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters in Christ, and God bless.